What an entrance. Good morning. It's another lovely Wednesday and we're heading straight to another episode of our unboxing series. First look, to take a look at a new tokenized asset management and derivatives trading protocol called Tran Chess, as in Tranche Chess. So yes, you guessed it, it is about tranches, but named after chess pieces. And before we go any further, let's just talk about the elephant in the room because no, it's not built on Ethereum and it's not built on Solana and it's not built on Polkadot, no. This is a Binance smart chain protocol. And with that bombshell firmly planted under our feet, let's give ourselves some time to recover by yielding the floor to our sponsors. Don't let high gas costs keep you out of Ethereum. A balance of the gas optimized vault architecture makes trading cheaper than anywhere else. Liquidity providers can optimize their fee earnings using the dynamic fee system that automatically adjusts to market conditions. You can also use asset managers to lend out idle assets, dramatically increasing your capital efficiency. And because Balancer is an open platform for flexible automated markets, you can now choose from stable pools or weighted pools. And in the future, more designs will be created that we don't even know about yet. Check it out at balancer.fi. You shouldn't have to compromise your privacy to participate in DeFi. With Offshift, you won't have to. Offshift is pioneering private decentralized finance or PriFi with the world's first platform for private on-chain derivatives and financial applications. Take back control of your privacy and become a PriFi pioneer today. Learn more about what they're building and read the yellow paper at offshift.io. Coming Q1 2022. Like everything else, BSC's TVL hit its peak in early May at around $54 billion. And while it dropped rapidly, it's still looking pretty healthy at 21.85 billion dollars. That is a lot of money. Now look, I get it. We've covered BSC and its lack of true decentralization. But if we scroll down to the bottom of the page on Tranches, we find Three Arrows Capital with a very positive sounding Suju. So what exactly is Tranches and why is he so excited? Well, as the name suggests, it's inspired by the tranche products we generally see in TranFi. You create different risk categories and allow investors to pick what kind of exposure they'd like. Generally, there's a junior and a senior tranche. And on Barnbridge, for instance, the senior tranche offers a fixed rate of return, while the junior is variable, but can be far more profitable. Now, if the product underperforms, the senior tranche is still paid out, but at the expense of the junior one. Now, here we have a slightly different setup, but the idea is broadly similar. Tranches derives different products from a single main fund. Now, this fund tracks a specific underlying asset, but is then split equally into two sub funds. One sub fund provides risk averse investors with a high yield token, while the other provides risk seeking investors with leveraged exposure to the underlying asset. And as per usual, the tokens representing those positions can be staked to receive additional protocol rewards. And in this case, that's the chess token. Now, Tranches consists of three tranche tokens, the queen, bishop, and rook, and its governance token, chess. The main fund represented by the queen token is a BTC derived asset, which can then be farmed for chess. Now, queen's net asset value tracks the BTC price perfectly. To acquire queen, as an investor, you have to swap BTC via creation process or buy it from their inbuilt exchange with USDC. Chess holders also receive additional returns from protocol fees, so it might add up to be quite profitable. Now, queen can be swapped back to BTC at any time, but Queen can also be split equally into two secondary tokens in equal measure. So you have half a bishop and half a rook. And you can go back the other way, merging that half bishop and half rook into one whole Queen token. The bishop token is a so-called risk-free tranche and works basically like a USDC high yield product in DeFi terms. Well, the token called rook is a leveraged BTC tranche. Now, how this works is bishop holders earn interest from rook holders, and in effect, bishop holders are lending USDC to rook holders so that they can then gain leveraged BTC exposure to earn interest. Now, here's a quick comparison between the different tokens and how it all works. So, your queen, which is an enhanced return for BTC holders, it's a single asset, which is BTC, but they might add more. You can farm it, there's daily creation and redemption, there's no prolonged price deviation away from the NAV. Then we have Bishop, which is an enhanced yield product for USDC holders, including interest received from Rook holders, and of course, chess tokens that you farm. 
Uh, it's a single asset, so you're supplying USDC, there's no impermanent loss, and you can earn extra yield from Rook. And then you have the Rook, which is the leveraged BTC derivatives token. Now here, there's no forced liquidation. You get maximum capital efficiency, and of course, more yield farming el eligibility. And that's currently offering 1.6x leverage. So not massive leverage, but still, you know, in BTC terms, something. So what's fun here is the ability to create effectively a BTC savings account, then split that into more derivatives, trade those derivatives, but also recombine and redeem them all for BTC at the end of the day. There's also some interesting exchange mechanics where the protocol uses a premium slash discounted basing pricing mechanism. So rather than trading the live prices of tokens, the exchange allows the trading of premiums or discounts of a forward benchmark price based on the next 30 minute TWAP or time weighted average price. This they claim minimizes the potential of Oracle attacks. Now, bear in mind that this is also built on BSC, so it's fast and it's cheap. So all those different activities you might do, they won't cost you a lot. So what about audits? How safe is this thing? Well, down the bottom of the page, we can see they've been audited by PeckShield and Certic, but what gives me the most reassurance is seeing a bug bounty program with Immunify. Now, nothing is ever perfect, of course, but their presence there gives me the confidence that the team behind Tranches are taking security very, very seriously. So that's it for this week's first look. Don't forget to subscribe and ding, 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 ding that little bell. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't. If you didn't like it, toodaloo. Nah, I'm kidding. Drop us a comment if there's something you'd like us to cover in first look. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.